The top three takeaways in our global debt and growth series dealing with Germany are one, Germany was less hard hit by the crisis compared to the other countries in our series. The present fiscal position appears quite sound. Two, the debt to GDP ratio appears to have reached its peak already in 2010 and is expected to fall further back under the Maastricht reference value of 60%, ideally by 2018. Even in our base scenario, it appears possible to comply with the Maastricht requirements within the next 10 years. Three, even though the fiscal consolidation path seems to be appropriate and the debt to GDP ratio is on a clear downward trend, the resolution of the euro area debt crisis and the guaranteed commitment to the Eurozone bailout fund may place considerable pressure on public finances. Germany is the biggest lender, and if countries like Greece, Ireland, or Portugal were to default on their payments, guarantees would be called in, and a large share of German loans would be irretrievably lost. Demographic shift and the shortage of high skills labor in Germany are also likely to place further pressure on public finances and to dampen growth prospects in the coming decades. The German labor force is not only decreasing in size, but is also becoming increasingly older than in other European countries. Therefore, a sustained and improved immigration strategy is crucial to cope with the projected labor shortage in Germany and to contain future public indebtedness. 